Hi friends, welcome to our channel Ashok IT. In this video, we will learn how to deploy Spring Boot application in the Heroku Cloud Platform. Alright, let's get started. What is Heroku Cloud? Heroku is one of the leading cloud platform. There are several cloud platforms in the market like AWS, Azure, GCP, Salesforce, Alibaba, etc. Similarly, Heroku is also one of the cloud platform. Heroku is providing platform as a service. As a developer, you no need to worry about infrastructure that is required to execute your application. You just write your code, Heroku will take care of that platform which is required to execute your application. It is providing complete platform as a service. So we need to write the code and we can execute that code directly on the Heroku platform, right? This Heroku is part of Salesforce Cloud from the year of 2011. All right, now how this Heroku is going to execute our applications, how the platform it is providing, right? Heroku is using a concept called Dino. So Dino is nothing but a container. So when we run our applications on the Heroku cloud, internally it will create virtual containers to execute our application. Those virtual containers are called as Heroku Dinos. Those Dinos are fundamentally Linux containers. So we are going to execute some commands to execute those Dinos. You can scale up your application by increasing number of Dinos. All right, so you are going to develop the application Heroku will provide the platform to run your application. Heroku is using Linux containers internally to run our application. Those Linux containers are called as Dinos. Got it. AWS cloud is available. Heroku cloud is available. Then what are the differences between Heroku and AWS? Heroku is giving platform as a service. It is a pass model. Whereas AWS, Amazon Web Services providing infrastructure as a service. Heroku offering managed service, whereas in the AWS, we need to set up the infrastructure to run our applications, right? Heroku will take care of the infrastructure which is required for our application. That means whatever the platform that we need, that will be taken care by Heroku Cloud. In the AWS, we have the flexibility to create our own infrastructure we have the flexibility to manage the infrastructure to run our applications. Heroku is generally costlier than AWS EC2 service. Using EC2, you can create the virtual machine and you can set up your platform to run your application. So if you want to understand how to deploy Spring Boot application in the AWS cloud, I have uploaded that video. You can find the video in the description. Got it? Fine. Now. How to deploy Spring Boot application in the Heroku cloud? So first we need to create one boot application. Then to deploy that application in the Heroku, we need to create one app in the Heroku cloud. You can create an account in the Heroku for free of cost under free tier. Install the Heroku CLI to deploy our code into Heroku cloud platform. Then login into that Heroku CLI using your credentials. Then push the code into Heroku cloud using that CLI then access the application in the browser. So let us see how can we push our Spring Boot application code into Heroku Cloud. So let me create one Spring Boot project, file, new, Spring Starter project. I'm taking Spring Boot application. Next, I'm using web dependency to create one REST controller. Click on finish. My boot application is getting created. In this boot application, I will add one REST controller. It will give a welcome message for us. I'm creating one REST controller. Welcome REST controller. I will write a simple method which will give a welcome message. Public string get welcome message. This method is going to return a simple string text Welcome to Ashok IT. This method I am binding to a GET request by using GET mapping slash a default URL pattern. 
with application URL this method will be invoked I am not giving any extra URL pattern for the method to represent this class as a rest controller I am going to use at the rate rest controller annotation that's it with this my spring boot application is ready a rest controller is also available now I want to run this application in the Heroku cloud so let's go to Heroku cloud platform we need to create the account in the Heroku. I created an account and I logged in into my account. So here we have an option called new. Click on create new app. You need to choose a unique name for the app. Ashok IT Spring Boot Rust API. I am giving that name. That name is available. Then click on create app. That app got created. Now when this app, once this app got created, you just click on open app. That application is opening in the browser so currently it is saying that Heroku welcome to your new app it is the default message now I want to deploy my application the application which I created using Spring Boot I want to deploy this Spring Boot application into Heroku cloud so here we have a deploy option so this is my application Ashoka IT Spring Boot REST API click on this application in this application we have a deploy option so there are several deployment methods are available you can deploy using Heroku CLI you can deploy by using github you can deploy using container registry if your code is already available in the github repository you can just select the second option now my code is available in the local machine I will go with CLI option download and install Heroku CLI from here once you install that Heroku CLI, you can log in into that CLI using this command. Then go to your project directory. Then just execute these commands to deploy the code into Heroku cloud. All right, let me go to my project. So this is my Spring Boot web application, which I have created just now. Let me open command prompt from here. I'm pointing to my project directory. This is the location where my project is created. Heroku login guys remember I installed Heroku CLI software already in my machine you need to install that Heroku login press any key to open up the browser to login yes it will ask you to login into Heroku cloud yes click on login yes I logged in into Heroku cloud successfully logged in as Ashok IT school at the rate gmail.com now we need to execute the commands to push our code here it is giving the commands also what we need to execute git init just execute the git init command then Heroku git our application name just we are configuring the repository name in the Heroku to push our code done then git add space dot to add all the files which are available in our project yes I have added all the files then git commit commit all the files commit also completed then push our files into Heroku repository git push Heroku master now my code is pushing into Heroku repository it detected that it is a Java application and it is downloading the required software to run our application the platform whatever the platform that is required to run our application that is preparing by Heroku only see that build got success build got success now you can see the success message is already displayed now it is saying that application is ready to access now go to this Heroku here you can click on open app you can see welcome to Ashok IT that message is coming which is giving by my rest controller so if you take this URL if you hit in the another tab also you can access that application welcome to Ashok IT you can give this URL to anybody they can access our application because that application is running in Heroku cloud platform I hope you understood how to deploy Spring Boot application into Heroku cloud thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and click on bell icon for more updates we'll see you in the next video